with that, I mean, the one, th the next thing is, how do you go about creating a park? I mean, Glenn, going back to, you know, I know Colonnade started, and it was a lot of years to get Colonnade, right? <laughs> yeah, a lot of years and a few missteps with Colonnade. Um, the key for us was was professionalizing our organization, was having, um, being super fortunate to have a real visionary, Mike Westra, come on as project manager and be able to bring that whole process through. Um, but for us to be successful in something like this, it's engaging the volunteer community and giving them a sense. Who are we trying to? Who are we trying to make this park for? What are we trying to do? What, what are we trying? What are our goals for this park? There was another project <coughs> in place, and that that didn't work out. Um, and then Mike stepped up into the role. But I think that, that what, what I'm getting at is that um, for anybody else who who has the idea of starting a park. Um, you look to the people who have done it first for the guidance and helping to get that, you know, um, get that concept and that vision rolling, because it is a really difficult process if you don't know what you're getting into. Um, you think you just okay, we got to hire a project manager, we got to do this. Well, it's 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 not that easy. And so, you know, I'd say anybody else out there who is interested in doing that, you know, contact Evergreen or or talk to uh, Stevens and and look to them as somebody that's kind of figured stuff out as they went along and they've got the, you know, they've kind of made it through the growing pains in terms of figuring out what the process might be. I think that's that's a really important thing to know. It wasn't, it wasn't smooth from the get-go. <laughs> Which brings up the question, yeah. too, I mean, just from, from dollars, because none of this is cheap. No. I mean, I think, you know, if anyone thinks it isn't, I mean, I can tell you it's not, you know, but I think from a corporate side or from a public side, you know, it doesn't matter where the dollars come from, it's still dollars. Right? And so, I mean, that's always my big question. Like, I look around here, and I'm always blown away because I know how much money it costs, you know, even with volunteer labor to build something like this. And how you actually come up with that, I still don't get. We, we have grant programs. That we set aside money each year to provide just to our partners. So instead of us building it, we give Evergreen $75,000. That will get them through a big chunk of time. And they leverage all that money with volunteers and other resources. And then we applied for a state grant and got 150000 from the state. And it was done in phases. So phase one, if that had been the only thing that got built here was phase one, it still would have been an awesome park yeah. and it would have been a great draw for a lot of people. Um, there was so much energy behind phase one that King County <coughs> did see the value in, in going the next step to phase two and the, what had been proposed with phase two. Um, but uh, the, the value of the volunteer labor by, by state standards is almost $300,000 for the volunteer labor. Um, and the value of the cash donations through our, our wall over there, the people paid $250 to buy a brick out of that. Um, that was about total cash donations, uh, industry and private, was about $100,000. So $380,000 in, in value from the community in that regard. I would encourage anyone, that, in just retrospect on this, uh, <laughs> if you were to build another park, to do it in a phased approach. I don't think we would have said yes had we seen the final project, a product. And that may sound really ironic, but there's a lot of stuff that we weren't. <laughs> <laughs> One of my jobs was to say no. <laughs> like, no, you can't build Thunderdome in the clearing. <laughs> the hamster wheel never did fly. <laughs> you guys built Thunderdome in the clearing. No? Well, that's true. <laughs> and the question, uh, but it did ease. It, 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 you know, I lost a little bit of sleep. Uh, just like, what is going on out there? Um, but you know, as time went on and, and volunteers continued to prove themselves, because you, you know you get told all the time like, oh, volunteers are loose cannons, you can't control them, and it's going to be a nightmare, and you know you're just told all these horror stories, it, it's, it's going to be out of control. Um, one, Mike Westra, amazing, amazing project manager, and and really, it, it, it's it is what it is because of Mike. I mean, I have, would not be here, I'm, and certainly would not have had the level of comfort to let go of the reins and say, okay, you guys do it, um, just knowing that he was out here.
So that, that goes a long way. So really good project manager and um, cutting your teeth a little bit, phasing some stuff, um, really ease the tension, at least in our office. So is there a phase three or beyond for Duthie, and are there other parks in King County that are on the, on the radar? Well, phase three is the parking lot for next year. So that's funded. we got a state grant for that. <coughs> Um, as far as other parks go, and this is where I'd love to hear from other people, um, there's a bike park that is <laughs> planned, there's planned, a hand planned yeah. for Issaquah um, near Grand Ridge, uh, near Central Park. That's under, it's going to be a small one, um, but we have $30,000 set aside for that and a $75,000 grant that's fairly secured. So we'll have some seed money for that. And then we're trying to build a cyclocross mountain bike skills park in the, in the south end uh, near Maple Valley. And we've had a number of discussions about that. So what do those parks look like? What are, you know, who do they serve? What's their purpose? Um, that's, you know, we're trying to figure that out. And that's, you know, we'd love to hear from folks. The next and, part. And Sorry, so Tacoma and Snohomish, Snohomish County right now, Wellington Hills Park, um, they're very open to the idea. Um, we keep pointing back to the success of Duty Hill. It's one of the things we keep trying to leverage off it and show this is what your community, this is the value that your community is going to get out of this. So, um, yeah, we, we, we get keep a lot of calls from all over the place. How did you do it? What do we do? You know, how do we do that in our community? Pretty common phone call to receive.